Well, hello there. Thanks for stopping by WineExpedition.com. I'm Neil Myers. Uh, just caught me uh, sipping a glass of Pinot Noir. What a shocker, I know. Um, so thanks for stopping by and thanks to TubeMogul.com for putting our videos up on the internet. We certainly appreciate it. Uh, that's right, cork in hand, glass in front of me, uh, a little Cambria uh, Pinot Noir. This is the 2006 uh, Julia's Vineyards. Julia's Vineyard. Julia is the name of uh, the owner's daughter, so she named the vineyard after her. And this is, uh, this is their sort of $25 Pinot Noir, $22 somewhere in there. And it's, uh, we were just talking about Sebastiani. Uh, Cambria is another one of those, uh, they produce enough that uh, you can find them in most supermarkets. And, you know, I don't know about where you live, but in Los Angeles, uh, there's certainly the, the markets like the Bristol Farms and whatnot that, you know, if, if you go shopping there, they have a, a wine section that has some interesting choices. Uh, but a lot of the, you know, sort of generic uh, supermarkets don't have a lot of choices, and particularly Pinot Noir, tough to find uh, many. I mean, you know, Cabernet and Merlot, there's usually a good representation, Chardonnay. But after that, anything else is sort of up for grabs. I mean, if you're looking for a Zinfandel uh, or a Syrah or a Pinot Noir, you know, there's not going to be a lot of options. And, and certainly finding one that is uh, top shelf, I mean, your choices are limited, if, if any. Uh, Cambria is one of those uh, names that you'll see on the top shelf of the Pinot Noir section. And I'll say it now, and uh, those that don't agree with me can certainly let me know, but I feel that it's one of those names that you can trust uh, and pick up and enjoy and know it's gonna be a good Pinot Noir uh, despite the fact that you're getting it from the supermarket shelves. Um, Cambria, uh, fond memories, one of the uh, wine tasting trip I took with my buddies, drove up to Santa Barbara. We went all the way up to, to, towards Santa Maria Airport and curved back in and started out at Cambria, which uh, would begin a day of tasting that wound up taking us all the way through sort of the sideways tour, Foxen, and uh, all the way down and wound up having dinner at the Hitching Post, which is another story altogether. But uh, it, was a, it was a fun day of wine tasting. It all started at Cambria. And uh, again, they, they do nice Chardonnay, nice Pinot Noir, and it's, uh, it's stuff that you can find in the market for a good price. So let's, uh, let's dive in here and uh, have a little taster taste. Nice Pinot nose. You can see the color also is a very uh, typical sort of garnet hue. Um, mm -hmm. If I had to sum this up in one word, it'd be pleasant. Um, there's a little bit of that, just a dusting of sort of earthiness, but it's very light. Um, just a kiss of sort of spice and oak. Uh, it's mainly just kind of uh, cherries and raspberries on the nose and on the palate. Um, not crazy complex, but, but again, just a kiss of that earthiness that, that gives it sort of a, a secondary you know, layer. Um, very balanced, very easy drinking. Um, and, and you know what? I could say that about every time I've tasted this wine, uh, 2005, 2004, 2003, it, it's been one of those wines that I've, I've you know, kind of you find yourself at the market, you grab it, and, and, and you, you pour it at dinner time, and it's consistent. It's, uh, the, uh, the folks at Cambria, year after year, are producing a wine from this, this particular property that, that is uh, consistent and predictable, and, uh, and, and, you know, thumbs up. So, uh, and again, it's about the $20 price range, $22, so it's, uh, it's relatively affordable. Good, approachable Pinot Noir from, uh, from California, Santa Barbara County. Santa Maria, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Julia's Vineyard, located on the western end of the Cambria State on the Santa Maria bench. So there you go. 2006, Julia's Vineyards from Cambria, Pinot Noir. Until next time, Neil Myers, WineExpedition.com. Cheers.